This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We travel to the north woods of Wisconsin for a little different type of outdoor activity. First, we head to Eagle River for the 51st running of the Amsoil World Championship snowmobile race. And then we travel a few miles up the road to Monaco, Wisconsin to take part in the 16th annual Ice Cold Beer Fest. Oh, yeah! Right. Awesome. What a big old beast. 75 yards. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Brew Pub Pizza. MBS, Meyer Recreational Buildings, and Real Deal Mineral. Cheese, that's right, cheese. We pile over a half pound of premium Wisconsin mozzarella on every brew pub pizza. Tavern style pizza that's all about the toppings. Large nuggets of zesty sausage, roasted vegetables, and sliced and diced pepperoni. Make brew pub pizza your choice for lunch, dinner, or late night snack. Brew pub pizza, satisfying great taste every time. Pick up a brew pub pizza today, available at your local grocer and tavern. Since 1999, McCuffsky Brush Service has been specializing in right-of-way clearing for power, gas, fiber optic, cable lines, and railroads. MBS is your complete brush and tree removal company, and we also clear woods roads and food plots. Whether working on residential tree trimming or commercial projects, MBS utilizes the most advanced equipment and environmentally friendly clearing methods available. MBS, clearing the way to reliable energy. Visit our website for more information. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. It contains less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need for proper gestation. And it's a great way to ensure that your deer are getting the proper vitamins and minerals they need to grow big horns. We started using Real Deal Mineral on our farm this year and the results, well, they speak for themselves. Real Deal Mineral. Check out our website or a dealer near you. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we take a break from our normal hunting and fishing to cover a little different type of outdoor activity. We head to the north woods of Wisconsin, first to Eagle River, the home of the Amsoil World Championship Snowmobile Race. Now we're gonna to talk to some of the racers and get right down on the track to bring you some of the action for this 51st annual event. And then we head just a few miles west to Monaco, Wisconsin, to take part in the 16th annual Ice Cold Beer Fest on the shores of Lake Monaco. I'm Chuck Decker, I'm the owner of the World Championship Sawmill Derby, sponsored by Amsoil and presented by FirstPlacePartsDotcom. 
And the history of this race began 51 years ago on a little tiny lake called Dollar Lake, just east of Eagle River here. Uh, it was started by three local business guys, and it got so big in two years that they turned it over to the Lions Club, who purchased the property where we sit today. In uh, 1985, uh, our family bought the racetrack, and I purchased it actually from my parents in 1989. So it's been privately run since 85, and uh, 51 years old, and but it's got a lot of community support, a lot of volunteers, and it, uh, it's just a great uh, thing that's going on here in the Northwoods. The Derby here, as well as many, many events that happen here in Eagle River, uh, it's the lifeblood of this town. I mean, we're in the very northern part of Wisconsin, in a, a community of 1,700 people, and uh, without these events, um, I mean, if you drive around Eagle River, you can see grocery stores, major hospitals, um, huge schools, and it's, it's all because of what these events bring to this town. And there's, there's many major events from the uh, Labatt Blue uh, Adult Pond Hockey to uh, Klondike Days to uh, marathons and, and fishing tournaments, and it's just one event after another. And all those events take a ton of people, and that's where this community really comes together. They support them, they work them, because they know how important it is to, for their town. It's amazing the, the, some of the names that have visited this little tiny town. I mean, from race drivers that have gone on to be famous car racers like the Villeneuve's and, and um, many guys have gone on to race stock cars and, and, uh, and then the, the, the uh, people that have come to visit here, the Unser's, the uh, Janet Guthrie, um, we've had celebrities from literally around the world, Miss Russia, um, Miss Iceland, and, and uh, it's pretty cool. You think it's a little place. It was one event held in January in freezing temperatures and it attracts major, major names. <laughs> Racers and fans come from literally across the United States, Canada, and even Europe. Uh, we have racers here today racing in vintage from Sweden. Uh, we have racers from Alaska. We have racers from California, Texas, uh, almost every uh, province of uh, Canada. So, and spectators come to the same thing. They fly in commercially, they fly in in private planes, uh, private jets land over here. Um, it's pretty amazing. Hello, I'm uh, Russell Leva. I'm from Warburg, Alberta, Canada, and uh, we're down here in Eagle River. This is my uh, fourth time I've been to Eagle River. The last time was 24 years ago. Uh, it's been a real good weekend so far. We've had some, some heat winds in our 340 IFS class, and uh, 440 is a little harder to drive, but we had some good luck with it. And uh, coming to Eagle River was always a, a bit of a, a dream of mine. Uh, we had friends that had been to Eagle River and they were he was my mentor when I first got into racing and he had a poster of the Eagle River track and I remember him showing and telling me about it and so it was always a dream to come here and we we did that three times back in the 80s 
I retired from racing for uh, 21 years, oval racing. So two years ago, my son and I put together two ice oval sleds. So this is the, th the third winter that we're going to be running them. And uh, I'm here representing our team, Liba Racing, and uh, the competition's outstanding. That's why we're here. It, you, got, you have to race competitive people to be better. Getting out front is the main focus for me in the first lap. And number one, two corner, very tight. You gotta, you gotta charge that corner. You can't overdrive it, but you gotta go hard into it and get the sled set up in the apex and drive out hard. I like to race out front and uh, three and four is a little smoother. It's a little wider, still same sort of thing. You gotta come off that bank, dive down get in that apex, get the sled turning, and then, and then drive off with power. It's, it's really a cool sensation coming up close to the wall. And um, yeah, run hard, just grit your teeth and try to focus out in front of you and uh, go for it. We come here because it's the world championship and we want to test ourselves at that level. You set yourself up for it and you that you just focus and go for your goal, you know. We have a lot of race drivers. Um, we have over 900 entries this weekend. And, and spectators, you know, we'll do a few thousand people over the weekend. Next weekend for the big race, the modern sleds, you're gonna see about half that many entries, maybe four, 450 entries, but the best racers in the entire world. And, uh, but spectators increase dramatically. We'll have over 30,000 people attending next weekend. You know, Woody's uh, Traction Products, they, they're the sponsor of the Vintage Weekend here. Uh, next weekend, there's uh, some really big sponsors. Amzo has been with us forever. They're a great company and uh, they're very involved in racing, very involved in the sport. Players and Artie Cat, the manufacturers are all involved. Uh, you know, without those companies, um, it just wouldn't be possible. Uh, you put it on events like this, of any kind of event, it's a huge undertaking, it's very expensive and uh, they were, they're the ones that really make it work. Yeah, our history in racing started uh, a long time ago. It started in, we're in Minneapolis, Minnesota, started in 1967. And uh, my dad bought one day a ski do snowmobile and uh, we trail road and well, we saw a race one day and said, well, we want to do that too. And uh, that one snowmobile led to four snowmobiles, led to my dad quitting Chrysler Corporation, buying a ski do dealership and uh, led to us having a major race team that raced uh, everywhere. And, and two of my brothers went on to race for a Skidoo factory team. My mom and dad, uh, God bless them, they're, they're 83, 84, they can't stay away. They come down, they help me, they work. They don't get paid, but they never, they, they're at the office every day. And uh, they do a lot of stuff for me. It was a lot of family involvement. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Weiss Realty, Colby Chrysler Center, Canada Outdoor Adventures, and Pro Designs. Weiss Realty will find the perfect property for you. The entire Weiss team of agents brings expert knowledge from every aspect of the outdoors and specializes in hunting land in rural properties. Whether it's hunting, fishing, farming, logging, or construction, we have the answers to your questions. Buying or selling, hunting or farmland? Contact a land specialist from the Weiss team today. Weiss Realty, we cover a lot of ground. At Colby Chrysler Center, our number one priority is you. We're looking for a new vehicle, a quality pre-owned, or help from our courteous service department. We take pride in everything that we do. Dodge Ram voted Motor Trend Truck of the Year with a powerful Hemi engine, air ride off-road suspension, and optional Ram box. And we thank you for making us Central Wisconsin's number one choice. At Colby Chrysler, it's all about making you feel at home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Offering professionally guided, all-inclusive packages, Canada Outdoor Adventures is a U.S.-based company specializing in great hunting adventures in Alberta, British Columbia, New Zealand, and beyond. Whether you're seeking that trophy of a lifetime, planning a hunt for you or your group, or taking your son or daughter on their first adventure, let Canada Outdoor Adventures handle all the details for you. To contact a pro staff member near you, visit our website. 
Canada Outdoor Adventures, the adventure of a lifetime. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. For 24 years, we've been rolling up our sleeves, helping grow your business. Designing and printing the finest billboards, signs, and more. More applications, more recognition. Innovation and American craftsmanship make Pro Designs today's leader in printing performance. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. My first time racing here, I was 12 years old, and I saw a lot of big names make, not only names for themselves, but a lot of history made here with the changing of the sleds and the small, you know, leaf springs to the independent, to the twin tracks, to just crazy fast equipment and the technology involved. And, and this track has made companies fa famous, it's made racers famous, so, and to see these young kids come out nowadays and know that they're going to be the ones that are going to be coming up and carrying on that tradition. Uh, it's pretty neat, and uh, so we put a lot of emphasis on the kids racing. We try to help a lot of young kids, and because you know, they are the future of the sport and the future of everything. I'm Megan Nyball, and I'm from Rib Lake, Wisconsin, and I go to Rib Lake High School, and I'm a freshman. The sled I'm racing here is John Deere 340, and it goes kind of fast. <laughs> I just started last year and this is my first year here at Eagle River. Two years so far I've been racing. It's kind of exciting because you get to go to bigger tracks. When it was my turn I just went out there and raced and had fun. My name is Dylan Berger and I live in Ogemo, Wisconsin. This is my first time here at the Eagle River World Championships for Vintage Series. I race a 1976 Articat Cross Country Cat. And the most important thing I would say in getting ready for the races is the skis on the track, making sure the picks and the carbides are sharp. Otherwise the sled will just wash out and you'll spin right around. And just make sure it really sticks to the track so it handles nice in the corners because that's where you're really going to catch guys and pass guys is down the corners and not in the straightaway. Being on the track is incredible. I mean, you first get out there and you're like, this is a lot bigger than standing on the sidelines. The straightaways, it takes forever to get down the straightaways. And being at the line, when you were in the pits before, you were just nervous and you were shaking. Being at the line, you're steady and calm and you're just ready to go. And by the time the race is done, you want to you wanna do 100 more laps, it's crazy. And so many people have raced here. I mean, my hero, PJ Wanderscheid, has won the world championship here four different times, and that's incredible. I mean, he's ran on the same track, the same ice, and he's won here, and that's my dream. I'm Harley Allers from Medford, Wisconsin. I'm in sixth grade at Medford Middle School. I've been racing snowmobiles for four years. This is my first time racing at the World Championship. To get my sled ready for the World Championships, we um, put more power to it and then we got everything else ready. I was actually really nervous when we were going to come here. When I was in the staging area in the pits and they weighed me out onto the track, I, was, I got pretty nervous. It's scary at first, and then you just like get a rush and you go. And then we went up to the start and finish line, and um, we waited for the flagger. And 
Some guys, they bounce on their slides to get them to stick to the ice better for a better takeoff. I don't do that though. Once the green flag dropped, I nailed it. I had the lead and then another kid, he passed me, but we just kind of followed each other. It was kind of funny. I got second in that race. I qualified for the world championship for the finals in my age division and I could win it, but we just gotta see what happens. I would like to race snowmobiles for a long time, but who knows. What it would mean to me to take home a tro trophy as a world champion would probably be quite a bit. Yeah, that'd be cool. Next, we head right up the road to Monaco, Wisconsin to take part in the 16th annual Wisconsin Ice Cold Beer Fest. This should be a lot of fun. In January, we couldn't think of a better way to bring people to the Northwoods. Whether our visitors and guests are into silent sports or snowmobiling, it's great to offer another idea for people to come to the Northwoods. The Ice Cold Beer Fest is a fantastic way to do that. People can come up, enjoy artisan and craft beer, have some warm chili, enjoy some live music. It's a great way to spend a Saturday. When you live in a small community, we depend on our volunteers to help us. We have a great bunch of people that live in the Northwoods and everybody likes to get out of the house. It's great to be able to be outside. Our volunteers are having fun. And there's just something fun about standing in a tent. It's heated, it's very comfortable for people. Just a different venue. The Wisconsin Brewers Guild decided to hold our uh, Beer Lovers Festival here in Monaco because it was a well-established event. Uh, the other thing is that it was well attended by the brewers. So the brewers felt something special about this place as well. So that's one of the reasons we took the challenge on to bring it to Minocqua. The Wisconsin Brewers Guild is always reaching out to Wisconsin companies. We represent only Wisconsin businesses and those people that make great beer in the state. Ice Cold Beer Festival doesn't sound like it should be held inside. So what other way that we're going to put a thousand people together, let's go outside underneath a heated tent. Most of our festivals are attended by about 40 breweries. Uh, our guild has about 50 members, so nearly 90% or 80% of those people are shown at our festivals. There are currently three uh, festivals that are coordinated through the Wisconsin Brewers Guild that are known as Wisconsin Beer Levelers Events. One's in Glendale, a northern suburb of Milwaukee, Oktoberfest in Wausau, and the beautiful confines of Monaco for Ice Cold Beer Festival. The trend, the growth in our industry, I believe is because of what's in the glass. There's a personality behind each one of these booths that adds to that kind of specialness as well. The growth of our industry doesn't seem to have a ceiling right yet. Sooner or later, we're gonna have what we used to have. Every little kind of niche in Wisconsin has a family owned and operated brewery. The winter provides a really nice place for people to spend some time in the Monaco area. We have some very nice specialty shops, boutique type shops in the Northwoods that really give people a chance to see some merchandise and items that maybe they don't see anywhere else. And they can come up and, and maybe you're not um, necessarily a beer drinker, but you want to go shopping while your spouse or friends are here and, and you can do that. We have a lot for everyone. We have a wonderful trail system that's very extensive. Snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, you couldn't find a prettier place to do it. One of the community events that we host is Loop Around the Lake. It's a family walking event 
that is held on Lake Minocqua. And we really depend on our visitors and guests to come up and join us for some winter fun. We're not just a summer playground. We would like to offer something for everyone at all times of the year. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews, True Fire Releases, Tacticam, and G2 Outdoor Products. This is my life. The Weekend Warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Well, Mark, I gotta hand it to you. I am loving my True Fire Hardcore. I wouldn't steer you wrong, brother. Not only is this thing extremely accurate on the range, its features are deadly in the field. What I noticed, whether you're sweating shooting does in the early season or shivering when that late season buck comes in, that jaw cannot come off that loop. I love my True Fire Hardcore. Wait, what do you got there? That's a Hardcore Fourfinger. Give me that. Not this time, brother. <laughs> the True Fire Hardcore, available at your local retailer. Ben, what do you have on the front of your bow? This is the new Tacticam HD video camera and bow stabilizer, all in one. It features one touch easy recording in a waterproof housing, and it comes with universal mounting with a rechargeable battery. Film your hunt hands-free in full HD. That's incredible. Where do you find those? Tacticam is available to purchase on our website or at an outdoor retailer near you. Tacticam, share your hunt. G2 Outdoor Products, together with Killer Food Plots, is the proven choice for superior whitetail forage and habitat creation. Killer Food Plots provides property consultation and timber management to create the premier whitetail habitat. G2 specializes in advanced blends of U.S.-made food plot seed with some of the highest germination rates in the industry. All of G2's food plot blends are genetically enhanced to maximize lush forage while providing a high level of protein and nutrition for your deer. Fishing equipment provided for Outdoor Bound TV by these fine sponsors. You know, as you can see, the Northwoods of Wisconsin has a lot of winter activities for the outdoor enthusiast. And oh, by the way, young Harley Ellers realized her dream there at the track at Eagle River. She was crowned the 2014 Junior World Champion. And yes, Harley, that was pretty cool. Folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Well, I'm not used to that. <laughs> and out back, sorry. Outdoor Bound. Outdoor yep. Bound. Yep. This is out bar, out. <sighs> okay, fine, it wasn't hard. And outdoor Bound, we have back. <laughs> So sorry. <laughs> I guess. All right. So an outdoor bound TV will be right back after this commercial. No, oh, I like wheels. <laughs>